The 82nd Airborne Division is always training for potential rapid deployment anywhere in the world as the nucleus of America's global response force. The 1st and 2nd Brigade combat teams recently conducted a joint forcible entry into Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri to validate the ability of both brigades' chemical biological weapon entry teams. Roger there, weaponizing these rounds. We have a round with a cylinder on the top. The CBW teams are comprised of each brigade's chemical reconnaissance platoons, maneuver security elements, command and control elements, and explosive ordnance disposal attachments. Roger, uh, DOD right now is currently checking the door for explosive devices. We did an airborne assault onto a Forney drop zone, and that was followed by a short follow-on mission uh, where they were looking for a weapons cache uh, in the vicinity of the drop zone. The following day we went out to the IRTD where we conducted a, the CBW battle drill in a dry agent environment. The recce element going into a building confirming and denying presence of chemical or bioweapons with the maneuver element commanding and controlling all of it uh, and providing security. Or hold security on that door to the left. The training improves communications and builds cohesion between these different and unique elements by placing them in the most realistic chemical agent training available to our military. The facilities here are geared exactly towards that type of training that you don't get any place else in the United States. What you're doing is you're looking at a training base that has le literally glassware that they'll find in laboratories. It has different types of uh, setups that they'll find overseas that they may find in cave complexes. One looks to be leaking on the ground. The troopers also spend time working with live chemical agents. We are working with real world chemicals. These, this is, these are not training aids, these are actual chemicals uh, in a controlled environment. And we just do not have the facilities uh, at Fort Bragg to be able to do this kind of training. So this is really a very unique opportunity for us as a platoon. The advanced chemical training greatly improves the readiness of our paratroopers that face a myriad of complex and uncertain security environments around the globe. I believe this is something that we can do anywhere in the world because they provide you here with everything from what you would normal, what you will see in real life, it's there for you to see it. So it's good to see something realistic. If you see it again, you're like, wait, I saw this before, and you know exactly what you're looking for at that point. From the Chemical Defense Training Facility of Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, I'm Sergeant Dylan Heiliger.